Hey guys, this is Torna, and today we're going to be checking out the new Warhammer 40k Tacticus game. Now, this is not a sponsored video or anything like that. This is just me literally checking out the video myself, checking out the game myself to kind of see as to whether I like it or not. Uh, me and my friend absolutely love 40k. We've been getting into it heavily. Uh, at our first game last night, my thousand sums absolutely destroyed his ad mech. So I am very excited to kind of test this out. I've heard some good things about it. Um, uh, so if you don't know, this is similar to uh, Marvel Strike Force from what I've heard, but instead of being like just a 5v5 across from each other, we've got actual like, you know, tactics in this game, which is pretty good. Uh, we've got some like lore in here as well about uh, the Ultramarines here versus the Space Marines. Uh, sorry, the Ultramarines versus these Necrons here. Uh, Necrons uh, kind of like uh, walking dudes, like you can see them here. Um... I actually should learn more about the law here. <laughs> All right, so we're going to try and attack here. So I don't exactly. It says swipe across. So grab him, swipe across. There we go. All right, so boom, enemy turn. So we move to high ground. So we've got different like tactics here. We can go to high ground there and cool. I like that there's actual high ground and um yeah i wonder if we got like if we get advantage from being up there or something i make quick work of those xenos thank the emperor oh so each character has a special ability uh it can be only used once like tigerius tigerius try his i'm gonna see this is like a chain yep boom the Psyker that hits two targets. Okay, so... Boom. All right. Now to reunite with my brothers. Now, from what I can tell, there's also, like, actual lore characters in here. Like, um, uh, Kalgar, you can see there on the screen as a character later on you can get. Um... Some of them are just like normal um, named characters that like uh, have been made up for the game and stuff, but others are like actual characters from the lore and stuff like that. Sergeant Bellator, uh, Radius Squad, we have Necrons incoming. Your arrival is always welcome. They may be voiceless, but they meet their end with a monstrous cackle. Then let us shatter those to silence with the sounds of their demise. So, Razor Wire. So this is razor wire here. Stops non-flying units for one turn. Units on razor wire also take more damage. So you don't obviously don't want to go into there. Sometimes it's better to let the enemy come to you. Tap this button twice to skip your turn. So we can skip and then they're going to come and then they're all getting in there. So Bellator lets us summon interceptors um, here. So let's summon... They'll uh, tap twice on an enemy to use this attack. Let's summon them over here. Boom, boom. All right. Probably could have aimed for over there, actually. Um, so let's use our shock here. And that one dude, like, moved back there. And now summons goes and kills him. All right, cool. Uh, mine is Kalgar. That's the guy over there. If you didn't know who he was. Then we'll fight greatly for the Emperor. New enemy flayed one. So that's these guys over here. Melee units. Thus can only attack adjacent. Range units are forced to use their weaker melee attack if they're next to an enemy. So we obviously don't want to go into melee here. So here I'm going to try and summon these guys. And then we're going to go um, over here I think. Yeah, let's go over there. Oh, that's right. I've got to select an enemy there. Oh, there's only one spot for me to be able to summon that dude in there. All right. Then let's use this on these guys. Oh, we almost took them all out. They're going to have to stop here anyway. Oh, they doesn't matter. They're moving over there. All right. Let's shoot this dude here. And then I don't think this is going to chain. No, we just bonked him. There we go. Victory. What are we actually getting here? Certus. Scout dude? Sniper. Yep, there we go. Ultramarines. 
So he doesn't trigger Overwatch. He deals additional range damage if he's not moved this turn. And unit that's not attacked during this turn immediately attacks when an enemy moves within range during an enemy turn. Okay, so I assume that he has a massive range. Select one of the Necrons to bring up, okay, information panel. So we can see like the melee attack, the range attack, how much health they've got, how much they move and their damage. So there's some here that are 15, some here that are 25. So let's go up here. Cast this, it's got to chain through all of them. Um, summon here. Boom. And then this dude here, what's his thing do? Deal heavy damage to an enemy, which is it, then push back one. The rain, the heavy weapon trait is also doubled for this ability. So we're not going to be able to do that. If we move here and then we can shoot this dude. There we go. And then we just counterattack that dude. Boom. Oh, no, it was a summon that destroyed him. Detect no sign of my fellow battle brothers. It occurs to me that we may as well be the very only survivors. So the battles are pretty quick from what I'm seeing here. So we've got some Imperial badges used to upgrade abilities. We've got some coins, the common currency. Battles will slowly get more challenging, but you'll soon collect many new characters. Oh, I can't actually click on them. You'll also start unlocking different game modes, enemies, and much more after you've defeated the first boss in Battle 15. So after we defeat this dude, Tigerius is leveled up. So we can upgrade his active ability here. Okay. Also upgrade his passive. So his passive... All surrounding units have an added block with 50% to block seven damage. Also reduces incoming psychic damage. This is actually really cool that you can like click on that stuff to be able to see it. Like I can see psychic damage can't be blocked and it's got 100% pierce ratio. Um, this makes it so I've got 50% chance to... There we go. So I can block eight damage now and it reduces the psychic damage that I can take as well. It upgrades my power score when I upgrade stuff. We've got a shard for Vindic Vindicta. Vindicta. Blackstone and some coins. You can get crates of tier two. Missions unlocked. Onslaught unlocks in two levels. Guild unlocks in three levels. We unlock missions. Imperial badge. Vindica. Vind Vindicta. Mission XP. Coins. Vindicta. Imperial badge. Boom. Complete missions to receive glorious rewards and progress through the game. When you are ready to do battle, tap the t battle tab. All right, let's go back here and let's have a look at what we can actually do here. So Chief Librarian looks like as per most games, you can kind of upgrade their armor and stuff. We got chuck some purity seals on them. Chuck a core on there. Chuck an all specs. Lesser reliquary of protection. We can ask our guild for it as well. So he's an uncommon, a common, a common. Then we've got uh, Incisus, Incisus, the uh, common healer there, and then Marnius Kalga, the legendary here. So we can find him either from requisition drops. So that's this here, which is essentially like, uh, what's this? Uh, so that's just like a random like loot boxes essentially or there was like a chapter for him as well I think it said oops nope that's the new dude all right so shop we're not going to the shops let's do go do more battles here are the enemies you'll face in the battle so tap info Medals. So if we lose characters, then we lose medals. Essentially, just like, you know, strike force. Uh, we want to three star it. We lose one, more than one in the loss in the battle. We get one if we lose only one, and then we get two, etc. And oh, you get different rewards based on how you go. 
Green means that it's applicable to a character that we can use right now. All right, so. What's this 43 showing up here? Oh, that's how much health they've got. All right, so here. Can I hit one of these guys? Yep, boom, all right. Let's move him over. No, I want to move him here and then cast that. Boom. Oh, I think I need to have two spots next to him. Actually, for that to work like that. Boom, cast that, chain through. All right. Block, block. We block some of those. Come over here and attack. You attack that dude, and then you attack that dude. Boom, easy. So these first missions, obviously, we're just like starting out and everything, so we can play them again. For an upgrade, we can upgrade this dude, chuck his gear on. Upgrades his power, keep fighting and doing battles. So we've got some missions that we can complete here. Coins, Varro, Imperial... Coins, Vero, Imperial. Collect medals by winning, and then we can get epic rewards. Put that extra armor to use. I don't want to yet. I'll collect this. So, we got a mission crate. Some coins. Some blackstone. Purity seal. Enriched rations. Reliquary of protection. Common Chaos Badges. I don't know what Chaos Badges is useful. Curtis. Boss Gulgorts. Alright, and then... Oh, sorry, Yarrick. Now, he is apparently, like, amazing. If, you, if you're starting the game, Yarrick is apparently amazing. You should definitely grab him. Alright, the moments of your device. You flail against the inevitable. You cannot prevail. And yet we shall for the Emperor. Boss Battle. So, his ability boosts adjacent units. Try using his Mortis round on the... Okay, to knock him away from others. So... Um, what do I want to take out? I think I want to take out the Flayed ones first. And then she gets to attack again. Him, I'm going to come over here and attack this dude. Ah, uh, okay, that was not what I wanted. This guy doesn't move very far. Boom. Oh god. Oh no. Holy shit. Uh, okay. Let's uh, do this. He's stuck in melee now. We pushed him back. Summon my dudes. Flamer onto him. Oh god, they're really after her. Oh, no. Zap, but he's zap. All right, the boss dude's dead. Boom. All right, so we only two-star that one because she got destroyed. Each time you play this battle, you have a chance of getting some of Makotep's shards. Once you have 10 of them, you'll be playable as a playable character. You can now also find his shards. Oh, so interesting. So characters aren't necessarily available until you actually unlock like that. Interesting. And we got Incisus. Incisus? Incisus? 
Insistus, I think that's how you pronounce his name. He can heal. Which obviously will make that a lot easier. All right. Makotep defeated. Well done. What's next? We've got win battles, grow a collection, dominate the galaxy. Complete missions. You now have a timed mission. Complete it before it disappears to get its premium rewards. It's going to last a mm, one hour. Defeat 40 Tyranids. So. Oh, we can now spend our stuff on this. All of Cadia battle pack. We've got a welcome commissaire. This is basically like. You know, if you played any mobile game, the monetization is going to be very familiar to you. Uh, we've got like different items here that we can buy. Obviously, you don't want to buy these. If you get this stuff, the black stone, you want to be using it on these 10 times pulls here. That's like the number one tip. Spend it on those. Uh, we've got some other stuff down here. Astro Militarum upgrades. Um, so what's this going to get us? Rare craft will use by at least one Astro Militum. So this is like gear for characters. Buying stuff, etc, etc. We've got upgrades in here that we can do still. Kelgar, eventually I want to get him. Uh, we've got heaps of stuff in here. Creator spotlights. That's really cool. That's really, really cool in there. Lots of stuff in here. Um... Welcome to the game. He's 200 Tacticus. Now, if you are, if you are just starting, make sure you come in here and submit my code in here. So this is my referral code, LEG43DAB. Submit that in there and then um, you're going to be able to get some extra bonus Blackstone. Um, and then we can start playing together. We're going to be able to start a clan together here. Once I reach level five, I'll start one of those up. We're going to be able to get a clan going. We're going to get it, do heaps of stuff. I, I am very excited about this game. I, um, I wasn't so sure about it to start with, but then after playing through, uh, it actually is just really, really fun. Like this is actually like a, a decent game. <laughs> um, I, I know that uh, 40k has a history of having games that are, how do I put this, less than optimal. So it's good to see one that here is just seemingly pretty decently fun and pretty decently good. But yeah, guys, hit up uh, my code there and we'll be able to download the game and play it together. Let me know what you guys think of the game. That's it for today. Have a great day and goodbye.